Hello guys, today I'd like to touch on a very important bit of information. I'm going to talk about fashion. Now I consider myself to be pretty fashionable, probably not the most fashionable guy, but at the same time I understand for the most part what looks pretty good. Now, if you are an overweight you know, or large woman, it's a good idea to try to avoid what I like to call shirt wedgies. Shirt wedgies. If you're wearing a shirt and it, and it you know, creases here and then here and then here and then here. But those creases are what I like to call shirt wedgies and they are not cool. No, they're not. Not for anyone. So what I would like to suggest is to buy something maybe that, that fits. Maybe a little large even. You know, it's possible that although large, you could still be attractive. But nobody likes shirt wedgies. I don't care who you think is looking or who wants this or who you think is jealous of you. They're probably actually laughing at you. And they're probably pointing, not saying, ooh, look at that, that, no. They're probably saying, ooh. You know, it's kind of like roadkill, to be honest. I, I mean, you know, we all have to look and stare at roadkill. But does it really look good? No, it doesn't. No. Now, the second bit of, uh, the second fashion no-no I'd like to talk about is what I'd like to call the mini pearl look. Now, chances are you may be a victim of the mini pearl look and you aren't even aware of it. Now, personally, I thought this fad was dead. I really did. I thought the days of it were over. But, in fact, it lives on. Now, Minnie Pearl, for the, those of you that don't know, was an elderly white woman comedian, country comedian, who wore a straw hat and a price tag hanging off of it. So, I'm going to say to you what I would say to her. Cut the price tag off, you know? I mean, uh, if you bought it, yeah, that's cool. I mean, if the shoes were $120, that's really cool, and we're really impressed that you had that kind of money to shell out, but just cut the tag out. I mean, I know sometimes there are those little nylon string things and they hurt if you separate them with your fingers. Might I suggest some scissors or maybe even a pocket knife. But you'll find that people still think they're cool even without the tags. You know, in fact, odds are we could probably figure out how much it costs anyway. I mean, it's we could probably go find it somewhere. It's just, just, just cut the tags off, okay? so. Just remember, if you're if you're larger, avoid shirt wedgies. And once you buy it and get it home, go ahead and cut the tags off. Keep all that in mind, and, and God bless you all. Thank you.